This next song is one of my new songs. It hasn't yet been, well, it hasn't been recorded, but it hasn't been released. Um, I'm severely financially challenged this year. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like me to put out another CD, please let's buy one of the old ones. Um, <laughs> I had the fortune, I wouldn't say it was good fortune, but I said it was certainly fortune of some dis d d d d d d description, um, to be in the United States last year during their election campaign, which was interesting. And um, then got back here just in time for our election campaign, which um, I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to because I figured I'd already heard most of the rhetoric on the other side of the world. Um, and it was a very, I don't know, it was a crushing moment really for a lot of people in the States. A lot of people really um, worked very, very, very hard in America through that election campaign to try to encourage more people to vote and to try and get George Bush out of office. Um, the assumption being that if more people voted, then they would be able to get George Bush out of office. Unfortunately, it didn't work like that. Uh, there was a record turnout, but just as many Republicans got off their asses and went, to, and went and voted too. So the result was more or less the same. And this is when I realised, yeah, I've always been in favour of compulsory voting because I've sort of put it in the same category as motorcycle helmets and seatbelts. You should have to do it for your own good and I don't give a damn what you think about it. Um, but that was when I realised that actually, looking at the entire Western world, there's been this gradual shift to the right that's been going on for the last 25 or 30 years, regardless of whether those countries have compulsory or voluntary voting systems, and it just made me realise it's actually got a lot more to do with who's got the bigger advertising budget. Um, so, I guess I wanted, in this song I wanted to talk a bit about democracy and about how the way it's shaping up at the moment, it really is a bit of a use it or lose it situation, and the people you know, people do care about things like environment and human rights and all that nice stuff that, you, you know, it's very important to get involved at some level in the political process. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was something, a similarity that I've seen right across um, all those different varieties of humans that I've had the privilege to come in contact with in 15 years of being a touring musician. And I've heard pretty similar things come out of the mouths of yay, rabid, right-wing Christians living in the, uh, the cabin in the woods in British Columbia where I stayed, which, which was so full and they even had embroidered Bible mottos on every wall. Um, and I've heard similar things said in the chai tent. And it's something along the lines, whether it's like, you know, well, it's their fault for, you know, these people in these countries that are getting blown up or are having problems of some kind, you know. These people over there, yeah, they might say, oh, well, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it's because they, they don't have democracy, or they don't believe in democracy, or they don't believe in God, or they don't believe in our God. And then you go over to the chart and hear someone say, yeah, man, but it's karma, you know, man? Like, you know, like everything happens for a reason, and it's all meant to be. And to me, those arguments are very similar, and they're both very dangerous. It's all about finding reasons why we don't have to do anything about it. And um, that was something I really wanted to talk about. Sounds good, so much. But it's only random but fortunate 
that leads us to be born into the bosom of the strongest. We're so lucky to be able to worry about romance or cars or whether or not we like our boss. Love by the luxury we don't realise the extent of the compromise of which is cogs in a machine making money for a man. Well, we're so lucky to be here. In a beautiful place, in a time of peace so It's important to remember that we did not to deserve this good luck It's not because we better have better karma or possess a better God It's certainly not because we've got better leaders We're here because in order to have all that wealth and power Those in tower need it like consumers It's just so lucky to be here in a beautiful place, in a time of peace. So we're so lucky to sit here wearing clothes of our choice, to reveal skin, to conceal skin, to paint our faces or leave them plain, to cut our hair or grow it long. We're so lucky to be able to go out and work and be independent of our families and of our culture. So lucky we may get lonely. We may be exposed to danger. We may get lonely. We may be exposed to danger. We may get lonely. We may be exposed to danger. But we're still safer here than we would be almost anywhere else. It's a beautiful place. We're so lucky to love who we wish make love with, who we wish build a life with, who we wish show love. We're so lucky to have a child if we want or not if we choose. We're so lucky that if we fall into the ancient plight, then we here still so far have the right to so lucky to choose. In a beautiful place, in a time of peace It's important to remember that we did nothing to deserve this good luck These luxuries are the legacies of the labors and the struggles of the people of the past Of the women, of the unions, of the civil rights movement, of those who work so hard so Risks their lives and compromise the families of weaker peace So, oh, oh, so lucky to be here In a beautiful place, in a time of peace It's important to remember Because in order for them to make money from us, they have to have something for us to consume. And that has to come from somewhere. That has to come from someone who once lived in a beautiful place. In what once was in a beautiful time of peace. In a 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 time of peace